At Auto Masters LLC, our mission is to serve our community by providing quality automobiles at affordable prices. All of our vehicles are inspected and certified to offer you the confidence in knowing you have a quality vehicle. Our goal is to provide you with a seamless process and positive experience for your automobile purchase. Financing recommendations and specific vehicle inquiries are available at your request. You can find us at www.automasters06.com and like, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Also, please feel free to contact Terrence Miles at 601-927-7794. And oh yeah, tell him Sonia sent you. She say, she say, she say, she say sports. She say, she say, she say, she say sports. She say, she say. She say, she say sports. She say, she say. She say, she say sports. <laughs> hey, y'all, your girl Sonya, and welcome back to She Say, She Say Sports. As you know, March is recognized as Women's History Month, and we have been speaking to some amazing women doing amazing things in the community. Today is our last guest, but it's not the least. Please welcome certified trichologist and owner of Hair by Sonia, Sonia Carr. Sonia, how are you, girl? I'm doing great. And how are you doing? I am doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today. No problem. I'm grateful and glad to, to be in the presence of, of She Say, She Say Sports. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. So, Sonia, tell the listeners a little bit about yourself. My name is Sonia Carr. Um, <clears throat> I got my undergrad from Alcorn State University, my master's from Jackson State. Um, I went to cosmetology school and um, I am the owner stylist of Hair by Sonia and Byram. I am the founder of Hair by Sonia Preventive Line. I am full-time employed with um, Department, no, not Department of Human Service. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've worked for Social Security Administration. I work full time there. And then I am a full time stylist as well. Okay. Awesome. You got a lot. And going I'm also, on. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm also married to Michael Carr, who is my husband. We've been married for five years. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. So, Sonia, when did you know you had a gift for doing hair? Let's see. I think I realized I really had a gift back in 1995 um, when I was a stylist at Sincerely Yours. And um, I did hair in, in high school and um, I started working in a salon mm -hmm. and I built a clientele. Um, I used to do my sister's hair and she attended Jackson State University. And it started from there, just from referrals, and it built my clientele. And it it went from there. People started wanting to come to the girl who knew how to cut layers. And so mm -hmm. um, people um, started booking me, you know, for, for, the, for their haircuts and, and because they wanted to get the body wrap that was very popular back in the day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So... You were you your specialty at that time was cutting layers. Yes, ma'am. It was cutting wow. layers and doing roller wraps. Yep. I oh, was yeah. the queen of the roller wraps. Yeah, these roller wraps was the business. Oh yeah. So yep. sincerely yours, I remember that. Who was the um head stylist there? Um we had MacArthur, we had yeah. Stephanie Woodson, we had Carol Woodson, who was okay, the yeah. owner. I used to do I and Nicole I Williams. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I and Diane, that. um, I think her name was Diane Williams. Those were the stylists there. And basically that's where I I found the love um just from watching them. And I took a little bit from all of them. I learned not to, but I learned a lot from all of them. And mm -hmm. um I was able to sit there and watch and just look at their clientele 
And um, I knew one day, one day it was going to be me. I prayed that um, I could be that stylist because I really looked up to them. Stephanie was my stylist. And mm -hmm. when you, I couldn't, I'm like, sincerely, you I hadn't heard that name in over 20 years. I, I was there. So when you were there, I was there, but I just, I didn't know you. That's why I know you from Sonia. Mm -hmm. That's where I yeah. know you from. Wow. The first salon, I used to do hair actually in my apartment. Um, I can't remember that apartment, but I pray to God, you know, that one day I would uh, work in a salon and I just really, 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 really enjoyed, you know, working with them. But I got tired of working in the um, at home because I got tired of eating hair because every time I would uh, clean up or eat, hair was just everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I made a vow when I moved into a salon, that was going to be my last time doing hair at home because I got tired of the breaker breaking. It was just a lot. Oh, I had turned wow. my kitchen um, kitchen into a, a salon. That's hilarious. So, wow. In, 20, oh, in 2007, I'm sorry, you decided to open up your own salon here by Sonia. And 17 years later, here we are. You're still going strong. And <laughs> Sonia... In this day and age, you know, and you remember it sincerely, yours, the clientele was, it was loyal. It was loyal every week, every week, every week. Mm -hmm. And this day and age, it's hard to retain clients because of the different protective styles. You got weaves, you got uh, wigs, you got braids, locks, et cetera, et cetera. And clients are just not loyal. How have you been able to retain your clients year after year? Uh, consistency, um, reliability, you know, being a reliable stylist. I, yes. I realize that every time someone go to a game or go on vacation or it's a concert, mm -hmm. you know, I knew I if I wanted to continue to have a good clientele, I couldn't take off every time there was an event. I had right. to be the person to make sure they look good to go to the event. Thank and you. I just knew that um, I needed to be that dependable stylist. Yeah. So, you know, our mission statement, you know, Hair by Sonya is the, is the salon where hair care is not an option. It's the standard. Mm -hmm. And I just believe in healthy hair. And I want, be, want people to be able to know and know who the stylist is from the texture and how people hair look because I am, you know, it's just a passion. I just, mm -hmm. I, I just enjoy being able to help someone um, overcome issues that they're having with their hair, trying to help them with us together, coming up with a plan so that we can rebuild and reconstruct their hair so that they could be able to, you know, build their self-esteem again, because, you know, People, you know, that's the first thing you see when you see someone is their hair. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a boost self esteem. And then it seeing them, you know, being happy, that's just that's that's something that I need for myself. It makes me happy. That's true. And I love that. And and Sonya, what is your mission mission statement again? Hair by Sonya is the salon where hair is not an option. Hair care is not an option, it's the standard. And that is true, guys. And let me tell you about Sonya. So, and anyone has, that has gone to Sonya, they know Sonya runs a tight ship. She has two ladies that help her. She got a, um, a um, lady that does the shampoo. She has a lady that um, helps with the natural hair. And it's a tight ship. I've gone there at 530 in the morning, seriously, at 530. And it would be 10 to maybe 11 or 12 other women with me. We gone by nine o'clock, sometimes really 845. And I have never seen anything like it in my life. And I love it because I hate having to spend my whole Saturday at a salon. I, it shouldn't be like a job. It shouldn't be a privilege. It, it should be a privilege to sit in your chair, but it shouldn't be like I have to earn the right to get my hair done for eight hours. That's crazy to me. So 
thank you for your the way you handle your your business and the clients love it too because we in and out but time is different time is totally different back in the day mm -hmm. i could get 20 heads out in no time you have to look at people no longer want relaxed hair so natural hair mm -hmm. takes a long time mm -hmm. you, you gotta look at the different more? textures it takes longer for some people so mm -hmm. that kind of like the natural people really um i just hope and pray that they're okay because it just take a it take longer you have to hydrate the hair and uh it's a process i always sometimes i have to if i have a person who video i show and i'm showing you before and after and i'm explaining to you trust the process mm -hmm. it just doesn't happen just like that in 30 minutes Oh no, it's not. Well, if you mm -hmm. want, if you want your hair done correctly, if you want the the uh, hair care and the get your hair right and beautiful and stuff, no, it's not. And that's what I'm mm -hmm. not saying. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I've seen ten people in a salon before, and mm -hmm. we will be there from eight in the morning till five and six at night. That's crazy to me. Yeah. And so, that amazes me no we want you to we trust your process that's one thing about it and you know she tells now the relax i can oh yeah i could i could give them give you your run for your money but <laughs> it has totally totally changed with natural hair and yeah. then you're trying to do both but one thing i did realize that i needed to find out what i specialize in and not try mm -hmm. to nibble on everything gotcha that, you know, I will go to different classes to learn. And um, I just had to realize I've gone to Atlanta to do apprenticeships. And I realized that, you know, this is nice. And I'm happy that I learned this. But I realized I have it going on here. So I need to continue to do what I'm doing. But I just, you know, I realize that you have to stay in your lane. You can't do everything. You can do everything. So I don't mind by doing referrals. Right. I'm just going to stick with what I'm good at. Exactly. And, you know, speaking of what you're good at, um, you know, back in the day, apparently layers, and layers are still kind of your thing, too. But layers was your um, specialty. But you're also known as a, as a silk presser. Tell us about yes. that. Wow. Um. I enjoy transforming people hair. Um, and it's 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 a good feeling to be able to transform a person's hair to straight hair, but I had to learn the technique. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to learn what product was good to be able to transform it. And I still am, am you know, I'm in awe when I'm able to transfer some certain you know textures mm -hmm. you know you have right. some hair that is coarser than the others and once um i learned the technique um some some take longer than others but it's a good feeling and the best feeling is to see the smile when they realize mm -hmm. that their hair was able to to do what it needed to do to transform and yeah mm -hmm. Okay, you know, because they've gone to several stylists that attempts to, but you have to be very mindful and go to a person who knows how to do it because you can't damage your hair. Yeah. Uh, so you got to go to someone who believe in making sure they're using the right products and things to prevent heat damage. Yeah, making sure they're using the right equipment. You know, that that make sure that hydrating so they can last. You know, you're doing all of that pressing, and if it's dehydrated, it's not going to last. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's a lot into to doing silk press. But if anyone here that's listening or have seen my work, I have written an ebook um, that can train you on doing a silk press. So if you're doing it at home and you want to learn, it's on my website on um, learning how to do the silk press and also i have a second one on teaching you the the products to use as well wow that's awesome sonia well i'm not gonna want to learn how to do it i'm just gonna <laughs> you come to you. so i'm gonna I'm yeah i'm gonna let you have a little bit i did not know that that is awesome girl. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome, awesome. So Sonia, you don't just do beautiful um, or create beautiful hairstyles, but you're deep into hair care, deep into it. Why is it so important for you to take care of people's hair when stylists barely want to wash hair now? I mean, why is that so important to you? Well, first of all, um, I just have a love of doing hair, but I would go to stylists with my mother when she, um, back when I was younger. And mm -hmm. I would always, just like you see a person, that's the first thing you see is their hair. And I would just always compare and contrast. And I've always had a love of seeing people with beautiful hair. Mm. and um my grandmama always used to say your hair is your glory and yeah. she used to you know straighten hair back in the day and uh <clears throat> it's just a love especially being able to reconstruct and allow to see the difference on, you know in the products that could reconstruct a person's hair to right. me that's, that's i just i just love seeing that and then with people trusting in me and to allow me to guide them and to, you know, inform them on what they need to, you know, to get their hair to where it needs to be. You know, that's just a, a good feeling where people just really trust you. Yeah, that is. It's a, I'm sure it's a very good feeling. So to get us to trust you even more, in 2020, you became a certified trichologist. Now, Sonia, when I first... <laughs> saw the word I thought it said trichologist and I'm like trick daddy you're having classes and I mean I'm a fan of his I had no clue about it I'm just kidding y'all but um I had to look the word up so I can learn how to pronounce it trichologist um tell us what a trichologist is is and how has it played in your love for hair care well, a trichologist is a person who specializes in hair and scalp disorders. And mm -hmm. with me being a stylist, I love doing hair, but I wanted, in order for me to be able to, to take it deeper, I needed to learn about the hair and the scalp. Yeah. So being a trichologist has allowed me to be able to recognize and be able to treat different issues such as hair loss and scalp disorders. So. I'm able to, you know, be able to refer them to a dermatologist mm -hmm. because I'm able to see things that they're not able to see. Okay. So it has, um, it's been very helpful in my clientele. And it also allowed me to be able to get more cu customers, not just for their hair to be pretty. People who had issues with their hair mm -hmm. wanted mm -hmm. to be able to get hair care. So, um, when you become a stylist, you know, you look at the different trends, you mm. know, and like I said to you, you have to stay in your lane and make sure you find something that you specialize in. But when you specialize in hair care, you really don't have to really worry about a lot because people are going to come to you because mm -hmm. everybody wants healthy hair. That's true. And, you know, a lot of people are in it for the money, but you'll be able to tell because when a customer comes in and I'm analyzing their hair they don't even realize it but after they sit in my chair we get to talking I feel like God has anointed me because I could basically tell you exactly what you've been doing to your hair because the hair is talking to me when I'm looking at it and I can advise you and tell you what you need to do and what we need to do to get healthy hair it's just that serious it's a ministry for you that's a it's a ministry and I like the fact that you allow the client to play a part in getting their hair healthy because sometimes it's just like, well, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, but you explain to them and it kind of makes you feel comfortable, you know, okay, I, you know, I'm nervous, I really don't, yeah, I know she said I need to trim, but it's for the best because we know trimmed hair is healthy hair, it grows mm -hmm. and it's just, you know, different things, you know, so you know what you're doing and and you're right it's it's definitely an anointing that you have it's a ministry it's more than just making pretty hair or making money it's a ministry so Sonia I remember um one time when I got braids and 
you suggested you was like get some Jamaican castor oil to um hydrate your you know moisturize your hair not hydrate moisturize your hair and get a deep conditioner I won't name the brand name mm -hmm. and spray it um on your hair your strands mm -hmm. of your hair to help strengthen it because usually when we have braids you got braids in your hair six mm -hmm. to eight weeks or sometimes more yeah. and your hair is shedding a lot mm -hmm. well you up the ante <laughs> And created your own hair care line. It's called HBS Preventive Line. And it consists of hair growth oil, repair follicle drops, and refreshing detangling spray. C congratulations again, first of all. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. But Sonia, tell us how you decided to start a hair care line and explain to us about each product and how it works. Okay. Well, first of all, I started the hair care line because of the personal issues that I was having myself. Okay. I am a braid wearer, which is a protective style. And I noticed the first time um, I got braids, I loved them. But when it was time for me to take them down, I wasn't educated enough to know how to take them down correctly. Mm -hmm. So I almost lost all of my hair. So when I took them down, I didn't detangle it at all. And I immediately went and shampooed my hair. And when I tell you I had to cut off almost all of my hair and all that I tried to untangle, it basically thinned and mm. I just lost almost all of it. So I was too embarrassed that I couldn't even wear it down. So I had to continue to get it rebraiding until, you know, it got strong enough to wear down. And mm -hmm. during that period, I knew every time I took it down, I knew I had to take it down carefully, but I was still trying to learn learn how to take it down correctly. Right. A lot of women don't realize that they say protective styles. I don't think that there's a good name for protective style because the styles are supposed to protect it. But you have to know what you're doing when you have protective styles. It's just like when you, you know, you your grass outside. And you want the grass to grow. And you know that in order for it to grow, you got to add fertilizer. And then you got to yeah. add water to make it grow. Well, it's the same with your hair. And I realized during that time of having a protective style, if I don't oil it, if I don't hydrate it, it's going to be dry. And when you take mm -hmm. it down, it's not going to do anything for shed. But during that period of me wearing the protective styles, I came up with different things to make the hair grow. And I knew I had to have it hydrated. And then with the tension from pulling it, I knew that I needed to come up with something to continue to allow my hair follicles to stay strong. Mm -hmm. And with those three things, that's where the hair care line came from. I just didn't want to just make a basic hair care line of shampoo and conditioners. Don't get me wrong, I want that, but I felt like it's the foundation when you're a child, when you go Correct. to kindergarten, you got to mm -hmm. learn your alphabets. Well, it's the same with hair. It's the foundation of growing your hair. If you start with these products, which is the hair follicle drop, it's basically will strengthen your hair root, your crown, and it will repair, um, you know, your weak follicles. It will strengthen your, your, your hair follicles. Mm -hmm. um, you can use it um, on your your frontal, your edges, um, your thinning areas in the top. And I have some that put it all over because it's strengthening your hair follicle. Wow. And then I have the hair growth oil. It's filled with, with nutrients. It's good for um, um, dry scalp. It stops the itches. It promotes and it strengthens your hair follicle. And the last thing I have is the refresher detangling spray, which will um, it's a concoction of conditioners. It's lightweight and um, it'll keep the hair hydrated. And that's what I use when I take my braids down. Instead of uh, detangling it dry, mm -hmm. I normally will put the spray on and um, it would open the dirt and then it would allow you to comb your hair because that's where everybody loses their hair when they're taking their braids down. Mm -hmm. So normally when I do that, my hair is able to comb through. But again, it's a refresher as well, not just a detangler. So during the periods of me having my braids, 
I spray this spray and I oil my hair. Well, when you're oiling your hair, a lot of people say my hair is still dry. Well, it's dry because it's, it's dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So the refresher spray will help you hydrate it so that that oil can deposit and it can grow your hair. Mm -hmm. So those things I live by, those three products. And I just felt like the need that I needed for me, I started seeing it in my customer's hair. So, you know, during COVID, I had a long time to think, Sonya, because when they mandated us to close down, I had plenty of time to think. And yeah. it was a blessing that I still had a full-time job. But during that period while I was at the salon, I didn't think that we were going to ever go back. And I needed a plan B. Mm. So during that period while we was off, I hate that it happened, but it kind of blessed me because yeah. I was able to think because I needed to know what was mm -hmm. my next step. That's awesome. So now, now you mentioned that you need all, th you use all three hair products, but does other, do all clients have to use all three products or just use the one that they actually need at that time? Correct. Um, you do not need, you don't have to purchase all three. Um, some have purchased all three, but you don't, you don't need the refresher if you don't wear your hair like um, in the natural style or if okay. you don't wear a, a protective style but um and if you your hair doesn't is not thinning anywhere then you mm -hmm. don't need the hair follicle booster but if you want your hair to grow for retention or you want um if you're trying to work with your dry scalp mm -hmm. you know the um the oil will be perfect perfect okay awesome and is this only for natural hair or can it be used for relaxed hair can it use, be used for other ethnic groups can, all it, be ethnic groups can, can it be used for men all ethnic groups um men and women um i actually have several men that are currently using it they're using it on their beard hmm. um women are using it on their eyebrows i have several people with dreadlocks um, and you know, cause they're not able to shampoo their hair a lot. So the, the, um, refresher spray allows their, you know, their Perfect. dress to be refreshed mm -hmm. and they use the oil because of the dry scalp, because they're not shampooing their hair a lot. So I had one lady, she had dress and she takes me almost every week. Thank you. me. She said, because her dress was just so dry that they would stick to her clothes. Wow. But now, you know, with her with her me introducing how to use it um she's been able to use it she's been very pleased with it so um so when you when you said people are using on their eyebrows and their beard is that the that's, that's the follicle drops that's the follicle drop because okay. you remember it strengthens the hair follicle you yeah. have hair follicles everywhere so you that's have men that have alopecia in their beards so you can mm -hmm. place it on that spot and rub it in and then it will eventually start strengthening your hair falls and start growing so the ones that don't connect that's they it can use it as, that's, mm -hmm. oh, that's alopecia okay okay mm -hmm. wow yeah. okay so besides the uh, lady with the dreads how are the reviews that you're getting from your clients and you know what are they saying the reviews have been going very well i have people who are texting who mm -hmm. responding you know from the um the site that I'm using pertaining to them purchasing. But one thing that I have just been really um, blessed with is the videos. People have been forwarding mm -hmm. me their videos. They've been doing reviews, um, just awesome. expressing how well they like the products. And I, it, I'm speechless because, you know, for someone to take the time to do a video to you know to promote my brand i'm thankful and grateful for it it's Absolutely. to me it's, it's the little things for me you know they don't they don't have to do it and i i, I like um what before i move on one of your reviews and you weren't even expecting it your chemist yeah who at mr jack who mr. actually jack. helped <laughs> um help with these products he's using it and what did he say <laughs> Well, he said, well, Sonia, well, you got yourself something. I said, well, what is it, Mr. Jack? He said, it's hair follicle booster. Uh, he said, I just, I love it. I, I, I'm using it. And I just, 
I dropped the phone, the phone. I just said, oh, wow. You know, I've never met my chemist. Um, but when I, when we first met and we talked and we, we would tweak everything and we would work with everything, you know, he's just been the honest person ever. I mean, I have not had not one complaint with him. Wow. Um, if I tell him, Hey, you know, when he sent the products, and we have three days, three months to test it. And then we'll send it back. And I'm like, well, I need you to tweak this. No complaints. Very cooperative. That's very, true. not one issue. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't realize he was using it. And when he told me, I was, I was just knocked off, knocked off my feet. I was just, you know, it was a sign from God. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, Sonia, what is next for HBS um, ha um, Hair by Sonia? Your preventive line. Are you gonna do any pop up soon uh, with your preventive line? Yes, um, I am participating in a pop up shop. Um, I think next month um, with a, a local, um, some local people here that owns a uh, product line. They have reached out to me and. Um, and have sponsored me to, you know, be a, a part of their pop-up shop. Okay. Um, and I've gone home and done pop-up shops in my hometown. Okay. And, uh, well, basically my purpose, um, I was working for a hair loss center and, um, I was basically their top salesman, you know, be, using their, you know, selling their hair loss products. And I wanted to one day be able to replace their products with mine where I could offer to my customers. I love it. And, and um, you know, my desires have been been met because I'm cool. able to do that when I talk to my customers instead of referring them and sending them links on you need to order this and you need to order this. I have it in my salon where I'm yeah, able to cool. sell it. That's right. So That's now awesome. I'm just working on making it nationwide and um, soon you will be seeing it in other places. But I didn't realize that it take a lot. It's it's not easy, but I'm not giving up. Oh, no. Why give up now? Yeah. God, if he gave you the vision, he's going to give the provision. So we just have to trust him. And that looks like that's what you've been doing. Sonia, thank you so much for joining the show. I really appreciate it. However, before we leave, I have a game that we play, and it's called What You Know. Uh -oh. and <laughs> so because you are uh, into hair, we're going to do some hair trivia. Mm, okay. Whether you get it right or not, it doesn't matter. It does not um, um, negate what you're doing. This is just for fun. So okay. let's, let's learn together. So these are, I'm gonna do true and false today. Okay. So if your stylist announces during your haircut, I'm gonna clean up that kitchen now. She's taking a break to go wash dishes. Is she taking a break to go wash dishes? No. False, okay, that is correct. She is talking about that kitchen in the back. <laughs> See, well, that's in the black community. I don't know if anybody, other people talk about the kitchen, but that's that she's cleaning that kitchen up. Just getting it right. Um, the next one, when Congresswoman Ayanna Presley publicly announced her hair loss due to alopecia and was seen in public bald for the first time, she wore black as a symbol of mourning. Is that true or false? False. That is correct. That is correct. Um, true or false, if you pull one gray hair, 10 more will grow in its place. False. Uh, that is true. And we used to hear, I'm, if I see a gray hair, I'll be wanting to pull it, but I'm, I'll be like, 10 more gonna grow, so I don't do it. <laughs> so I cut it. Um, true or false, jazz legend Billie Holiday was famous for wearing white roses in her hair. False. That is correct. Um, she wore gardenias. Okay, we on a roll. Uh, true or false. Madam C.J. Walker invented the pressing comb. Um, she did several things, but I say true. Mm, I know she did the she did the oil. She did the relaxers. She did the relaxers. 
Okay, so she didn't do the press and count. That was kind of tricky, but okay. Yeah, no, no, she did not. Um, true or false, historically, some corn roll designs were created to transmit transmit secret messages. True. That is true. And that amazed me. I heard that a few years ago um, in slave days and even in the... Um, the, I guess BC days or um, before, be, no, after Christ or before, I don't know. They would do that to transmit messages. That's amazing to me. True or false, Tiffany Haddish shaved her head because the second spike of COVID-19 cases caused California to reclose their salons. Hair salons. False. False. That is correct. True or false, Chris Rock made the film Good Hair because he grew up watching his little sister squirm as she got her hair pressed on Sunday morning. I think that's true. That's false. It is, okay. It, but it, but it sounds like it's true, though. It sounds like it would be true. Mm -hmm. I wonder true. why he made it, though. I don't know. And I watched they it. I, I, they did, but I didn't write it down. But It um, seemed like he was laughing at his sister, so that sounds like it's true. I can see that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, true or false, the Afro pick was invented by a member of the Black Panthers. It sounds like that would be true. True? False. Okay. Okay, false. Okay. False. It actually, um, if I remember correctly reading it, it was invented um, like hundreds of years ago. So, okay. yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, black people had afros in too. So, last but not least, true or false, in 43 states, it's legal for employers to discriminate against black people wearing our natural hair at work. True. That is true. And it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Son, <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today. Tell the listeners how they can follow you on Inst um, Instagram, on social media, um, how they can buy your product, how they can make appointments to um, get their hair done. And yeah, give them your website. Okay, you can follow me. I'm on Facebook under Sonya Carr and um, Hair by Sonya on Facebook. That's my business page. And I am on um, IG under Hair by Sonya. You can book an appointment and you can buy Hair by Sonya preventive products and the ebook um, on my website at uh, www.hair by Salon. Um, dot com. And that's all of that will be on my website. Yes, ma'am. S O N I A C A R R. Um, and you had a, did you want to give an email or something? No, no, no. No, that was it. Oh, that yeah. was it, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. hey guys, you can follow me on Facebook at She Say She Say Sports. Instagram, She Say She Say Sports 23. And please, please subscribe to our YouTube page. She say she say sports. Well, that's our show for today. Until next time, this is Sonia with She Say She Say Sports.